Thank you. So we're announcing today a broad support of the PC ecosystem to deliver the future of mobile computing. We have an ecosystem announcement today. One thing that is unique about Qualcomm, because of our horizontal business model, we have the opportunity to create ecosystems and to move forward with broad partnerships. Because we're not a company that is focused about one company only innovates. We're not vertical, we're truly horizontal. And because there are all of the companies innovating together, we see the power of the Qualcomm ecosystem. So we see broad support from Microsoft in the PC ecosystem, uh, Lenovo, HP, Acer, and Asus about the momentum building within ARM Windows PCs powered by Snapdragon. So within the global 5,000 enterprises, there are 200 now already testing or deploying Windows and Snapdragon devices within their environment. We're just showing a few. So this stuff is happening. So with that, I'm gonna to go to the next announcement. So we're also announcing today an expansion of our collaboration with Microsoft to accelerate augmented reality and mixed reality. This announcement uh, of this collaboration builds on a long-standing relationship. I'll be very specific to what we're announcing today that you'll be able to see in the press release. We're announcing that we're developing a custom augmented reality Snapdragon chip for next generation power efficient, very lightweight AR glasses uh, for the Microsoft ecosystem. And we're integrating into that chip platform software from both companies. The Microsoft Mesh platform and the recently announced Qualcomm Snapdragon Spaces XR development platform. Snapdragon Spaces will be fully integrated into Microsoft Mesh and this platform is going to be available for next generation lightweight glasses. This, and with that, I'm gonna to go to the area number four that we had announcements for you today, which is automotive. So when we think about the automotive and the Qualcomm focus on this incredible segment, which has been completely transformed by technology, we look about how to work towards the automotive industry of the future. It's about really redefining vehicles for the 21st century. And we start by rethinking from a Qualcomm standpoint how the relationship between the various companies providing technology and solutions to the automotive ecosystem is. Car companies are becoming in the ER now, many of them are now tech companies. Uh, technology assets become extremely important. They also, those new partnerships are formed. What we saw with the transition of the car into a completely more digital, cloud-connected and intelligent experience, car companies started to develop direct relationship with technology companies and chipset providers. Uh, and I think that got taken to the whole next level as we look at the supply chain crisis and the understanding of the importance of semiconductors in the semiconductors roadmap and the role in the technology and digital evolution of the cars. So we find that with redefining, building direct relationship, not only with the tier ones, but the automakers, and focus on can we create a true digital chassis? It's a platform that includes the Snapdragon auto connectivity platform. It includes the digital cockpit, which is much more than infotainment is how you really interact with your car. Includes the car to cloud service platform in Snapdragon Ride for ADAS and autonomy. And that new platform meets both consumer and industry demands for a completely new approach in how thinking about technology development into the cars in the future. And as we look Individually, I want to start focus on how we think about the digital cockpit. Um, it's really moving towards an immersive driving experience. It's about taking this concept 
that there's a lot of information that is part of your digital life from your phone. And why don't you take that plus with everything else that is part of your life when you're behind the wheel into how you're going to interact with the car? We all know today, and the car industry has validated that, uh, the digital cockpit becomes one of the key buying decisions for new car buyers today. It becomes a very important feature in the decision about buying a car. That's really important. So as we look at the digital cockpit portion of the digital chassis, we have a number of interesting announcements uh, for you today. So I will start that we're working with Volvo to enable Snapdragon Power premium infotainment experience in the Polestar 3 SUV and Volvo's upcoming fully electric SUV within companies like Alps Alpine. We're announcing that we're gonna bring in-cabin capabilities as well. A lot of new technologies, such as e-mirror for blind spot reduction, ceiling display, that's a new uh, technology as well. Next generation input output devices and when the door trims and individual sound zones for the varying uh, you know, different passengers in the car. We're very excited about the digital cabin partnership with Alps Alpine. And it's another example of how our digital cockpit platform continue to expand to more and more use cases. The digital chassis also powers real-time engagement with the vehicle surroundings. Look, we can, sp we can spend a lot of time, give you many examples, I'm just gonna highlight a few. But for example, as you are behind the wheel and you think about technology such as ADAS, and it's not a separate technology, it's not a separate component, it's just part of a digital platform. What is unique about Qualcomm is the system level approach that one thing interact with the other and allow the OEM to develop a, a platform around the entire system. We believe at the end of the day, this system approach will win. And that's why we're very excited when we go from that conversation to what we're doing with Snapdragon Ride, which is our scalable, open, proven, based on the Arriver Pioneer assets platform for ADAS and autonomy. It's one of the industry's most advanced, flexible and customizable ADAS platforms, and it's designed so it can scale not only for premium level vehicles, but all the way to entry level vehicles. And at that part of the presentation, we wanted to continue telling you about the progress we're making in ADAS within our automotive business. So, as, as we look into the ADAS, we're announcing today a new addition to the Qualcomm ADAS family. It's the Snapdragon Ride Vision System. It's an open, modular, scalable platform for automotive driving. It ranges from, a front, from an entry tier, in cap front camera, all the way to more advanced front, rear, and surround view solutions. It combines the RIDE SOC with next generation vision perception software stack from Arriver. It's OTA upgradable. It has the Snapdragon RIDE SDK for the OEM to customize and develop their own drive policies or use Qualcomm pre-integrated five-star rated solution. The ability to do object detection, surround view parking, driver monitor in maps. And is a product of the Qualcomm Arriver collaboration and is going to be ready in vehicles by 2024. And as a summary on the automotive segment, we're working now with all leading automakers, number one in uh, telematics, automotive connectivity and premium next gen infotainment uh, and digital chassis with all the capabilities, including ADAS, is getting a lot of momentum. Uh, it's a design wing pipeline of 13 billion, and as I said, uh, stay tuned. Uh, we're seeing you know, a lot of traction. I think the market was looking for a solution like that, and a special solution that is open and flexible with capability across all domains. Thank you so much 
for coming here today.